The electricity needs of the United States continue to increase as energy demands grow. By 2010, we're anticipating at least a 12% increase in overall consumption of electricity. Congestion on our electrical highways has become a major problem in that we simply don't have the capacity to serve consumers with the lowest cost generators. This costs consumers billions of dollars annually, and if allowed to continue, it will threaten the reliability of our power delivery networks. As a result of deregulation, the vertically integrated utilities have broken up into generating companies and delivery companies. Siting a plant has become much more difficult in New York State. So what we need to do is to take a look at opportunities to use less electricity on the demand side, but also on the supply side. This HTS cable technology actually increases the amount of supply that's available, therefore less of a need to site additional plants. It's important for states like New York to upgrade to more energy efficient technology, new technology. We're a high cost state and we have to make the most efficient use of the energy that we have. So the better that we can introduce technology that's more efficient, more high tech, it'll allow us to compete better in not only a regional market, but in a worldwide market. One big factor is NIMBY, not in my backyard. It's very difficult to add to the existing infrastructure or even to renew the infrastructure because it's hard to get everything permitted and licensed. HTS technology, basically high temperature superconducting technology, is the science of certain materials when they're cooled to very low temperatures lose all resistance to electricity. What that enables Intermagnetics and our subsidiary superpower to do is to work on technology that takes power from point A to point B much more efficiently and with much better capacity than conventional technology. Well, liquid nitrogen will, will flow through the inside here and bathe three, these three phases here. The electricity will flow directly through this HCS material. It's a silver-coated material here. And the copper former in the middle really provides structure and in the event of a fault current, allow the electricity to pass through there. That efficiency improvement has very significant environmental benefit because it reduces the consumption of fossil fuels when we make electricity. Our partners in the Albany Cable Project are SEI and BOC. We make the enabling superconducting material. We send it to SEI in Japan, who makes the cable itself, ships it back to the United States, and we integrate it with BOC, who makes the cold generating part, the cryogenic part of the cable, integrated together to make the cable project here in Albany, New York. The project's projected cost about $27 million. It's a combination of funds. NYSER has invested $6 million of our public benefit fund, our New York Energy Smart Funds, for this because it's new technology. We want to demonstrate new technology, and we're partnering with Superpower. We're partnering with the Department of Energy, with Sumitomo, BOC. There's a lot of partners here, and it's something that what we value is partnerships and collaboration in demonstrating new technology. This project has generated the attention of the international community. Sumitomo introduced this compact 3-in-1 cable and termination design to this project after a successful demonstration in Japan. High capacity is achieved by innovative superconducting wire, which has more than 100 times our standard copper cables, effective current density. In the long term, I think what HTS technology can do for National Grid is improve our service quality. Once again, we strive to improve service quality by virtue of the regulatory framework that we've been provided with, and we're looking for long-term capital investments to make that will enhance the service quality that we provide to customers. The Albany Cable Project is a win-win situation, not only for the public, but for the business community here in the Capital District and for the rest of New York State. It's about using innovation and technology to solve some of our most pressing energy and environmental problems and ways to help the state's economy. And it helps our economy. If we can demonstrate this technology, not only can we export it across New York State, we can export it to the world, and we can grow that job base here in New York, and we can bring the jobs here to Schenectady County. One of the other benefits that we have to really focus on with HTS is in the context of having unprecedented high oil prices. 
And we need to use these gas fossil fuels much more efficiently. And that's where high temperature superconductors really have a significant impact in the power grid. One of the reasons that, that superpower and intermagnetics is making the investment in high temperature superconducting technology is the need to address the bottleneck between supply and demand in electric power. And as we saw in the blackout of 2003, when you have a mismatch of supply and demand and other discontinuities in the grid, that we can have massive rolling blackouts. NHTS is a dramatic technology that will help in that for many, many years to come. We are pleased to be a partner with Superpower, National Grid, and the other team members in developing this new capability that showcases superconductivity for widespread use, especially in congested areas.